summer is practically here, which means you might be like Natalie, ready to chop off your hair. And joining me to talk about organizations to donate your hair is Charlotte Boxley from Rock Paper Beauty Lounge. Thank you so much for coming in. Absolutely. I love this topic. Yeah. So there are three major organizations that mm -hmm. we're kind of talking about. So what are the three? So the three biggest ones are Children with Hair Loss, Locks of Love, and then Pantene Beautiful Links. Okay, so let's start off with Locks of Love. That's the one that I am... I, I have heard of the most. Yeah. Um, tell us about that. So Locks for Love actually only donates or only provides hair for children who have long-term hair loss. Okay. So let's say that you're actually going through some cancer treatment and you have a temporary hair loss situation from like chemo burns or something like that and your hair will come back. Mm -hmm. They actually will not grant you any hair okay um and so they need hair eight or i believe it's eight inches or longer mm -hmm. and then um they also um charge actually their clients so you okay. kind of pay on a sliding scale based on right. need but it's not free no not necessarily okay. some people do qualify for free right um but most families do have to pay something for the hair okay and then you they don't accept gray or bleached hair they do not accept gray or bleached hair and okay. they also um do sell the hair that they receive that is not usable in okay. order to kind of offset that manufacturing cost of the wigs. Interesting. Okay, so the next one we're gonna talk about is Pantene Beautiful Lengths, which I had not heard about this one. Tell us about it. So this one's great because they accept eight inches of hair or longer, so okay. you can kind of do a smaller ponytail. Actually, I just remembered Locks of Love does 10. Okay. So um, that's pretty great. They help adult women. They make no children's wigs. Got it. And all of their recipients are some type of cancer. Okay. So. Um, it's for women with cancer who need some type of hair. Interesting. Yeah. And then the last one we're going to talk about is uh, CWHL, which is Children so with Hair Loss. that's my personal favorite. Okay. I feel like they're a very responsible company and charity. Mm -hmm. They track all of their hair, which not other, other companies don't necessarily do that. Okay. Um, so you get a certificate saying that they're thankful that you've sent them their hair, and they donate all of their hair to children and to wigs, and it's completely free to the child. That's wonderful. Yeah, and so, you, so actually if you have chronic hair loss, yeah. they donate you a new wig every single year. Okay, and you actually brought a few yeah, so to kind this, of get a look. This is kind of more of an eight inch ponytail. Okay. So if you're looking to donate hair, I think most people don't realize that you really have to have an eight inch ponytail. It's not just that you have to give eight right, inches eight of inch, hair. Right, eight inches, yes. So you have to be able to put it into a braid and then typically this would be fastened at the top and the bottom. Okay. So this one's about eight inches. And this one's a little longer than 10. It's more on the 12 side, but if you okay. can tell, like her bolt kind of ends there. Okay. So I really measure to like where the bulk stops. Got it. So and that's going to be about a 12 inch ponytail right there. Okay. And if somebody wanted to get their hair chopped off at rock oh, paper, yeah. how could they uh, do that? Where are you guys located? So we're located on the corner of second and Campbell. And right now we're actually donating um, any, 20% uh, of any haircut that you get that's towards a donation, we'll donate it back to children with hair loss. 